I would like to say that on an ordinary day in my kitchen, I was about to clean and I saw this single little puzzle piece sitting on my kitchen shelf. And I was gonna reach up and grab it and throw it in the trash because I thought, you know, no one, I won't find where this fits. I won't, I don't know. Like my son had a bunch of puzzles and I just was gonna just throw it out. In a moment, the Lord spoke to my heart and said, no, don't touch that puzzle piece. There's things I wanna teach you about it. Wow. Yes. And so it got my attention. And for three days, I walked past this puzzle piece. And I know this may sound weird, but I actually started empathizing with it. I started feeling like that puzzle piece because I felt in that season as if I was sitting on a shelf on a hallway between two doors. Sometimes we can go through that, right? Where one door is closed, another door is about to open. Mm. And the Lord just kept impressing on me as I was about to throw out that puzzle piece, put it in the trash, that so many people discount their giftings as junk. And Mm. the enemy wants us to feel that way. But God has made each person on purpose for a purpose. And so in prayer, as I was getting ready to just ask him, what do you want me to do with this, Lord? He downloaded the story of where is the missing puzzle piece? And it's all about Pete the puzzle piece. And he lives in the town of Jigsaw. And life is going on on the inside of the jigsaw box. And he is trying to find where he fits in the big Mm. picture, comparing himself to everybody else and not being exactly who God made him to be. And so he's on a journey to find his purpose in the Lord. And so as he sets out Mm -hmm. on this journey, Mm -hmm. what does he discover? Well, he discovers, first of all, that he he feels like he's just existing. He's not truly living the purposes of God for his life. Mm -hmm. And so after trying to be like Bobby, the basketball star who can slam dunk, he airballs it after trying to be like Abby, the artist who can paint beautiful murals and he spills the paint all over himself. Sammy, the singer who can sing so well, but you know, Pete's voice sounds like a screech. He tries to be anybody but himself. So then in a emotional decision he packs up his belongings from jigsaw and thinks no one will know that i've even left the town so he journeys outside this jigsaw box and you know god has people cross our paths right Mm -hmm. and so a little boy named will sees pete's lost and asks him are you lost and he sits down with this puzzle piece and starts talking to him about how god made him for a purpose and he doesn't need to be like everybody else And so back in Jigsaw, they're about to have this big festival and make this picture and everybody's excited and celebrating. And all of a sudden they realize there's a very big problem and that's the missing puzzle piece. And he's not there and Pete is missing. So they want to search for him and find him and his purpose. Wow. So let's talk about now. And this is a a book. It has illustrations. So Mm -hmm. it's for children, say four to eight. Mm-hmm. Years Around old, somewhere right? yes. in that elementary school age. So, what lessons do or can children actually learn as a result of reading the book? Where is the missing puzzle piece? That's a great question. I would say the first thing is is that once. Uh, Will tells Pete, God made you for a purpose. He cur- encourages him to go back where he came from. And he gets this big welcome par- welcome home party. And when he steps into a special place, the first thing that a child will learn is uh, there's this big puzzle piece uh, spot that he fills. And the words say, you are special. Mm. So a child will hear how special they are, know their important part in God's story, that they're not just a number in a crowd, that God has made them uniquely special. And Pete reminds everybody of that wherever he goes, that they are worth it, they are valuable, and they have a purpose. And there is a spot in the book that you can put a child's picture or a group of children in there so they visually can relate themselves in the story too. 